If a human-powered helicopter is possible, then there's nothing that people should look at as impossible. It's an incredible feeling to actually lift off the ground. It's like you're, you know, you're biking along the street and someone came and just picked up your bike and now you're floating. So this is a helicopter that is powered by solely the strength of the pilot. So you're sitting on a bike in the, in the center of this massive structure. In total, it's 154 feet across and only weighs 120 pounds. So the pilot's at the center pedaling a bicycle, and with that, it lifts off the ground. At the center, there are lines, and as, as you pedal, you're spooling up these lines. Those lines are attached to each of the rotors, so as you pedal, it's basically pulling the rotors around, and, you, and as, as you spin your legs, you're spinning the rotors. And basically, at all times during the flight, the entire helicopter is right on the edge of falling apart. Uh, if either you get a small break, uh, or if something is uh, not quite right and goes wrong, uh, there's a chance, as happened twice, uh, of the entire helicopter disintegrating in midair. It takes definitely a, a substantial effort to get off the ground. Uh, to fly low to the ground is not all that difficult. You could, you know, a, a highly trained athlete could maybe do it for about a minute or two. Um, to reach the altitude required for the prize really does take an all out effort. We hope that in the future, uh, human power can provide a viable alternative or at least a supplement to fossil fuel vehicles. I hope that this inspires our fellow Canadians but also global citizens to really do more with less.